god. So, quick story here. I am in the Lake Tahoe area. It's very cold. Most people have left. And there's just a handful of us here. It's my last night. And I was told there's lots of bears here. And I really wanted to see a bear. Hadn't happened. But twice now I've seen a coyote. Or a fox. I'm not sure which. Walk on this path out here. And just a little bit earlier I had the dogs out. Uh, they were going to the bathroom. They were barking. We came in. I sat here and I was like, please, Mr. Coyote, please come back so I could take a picture of you. And sure enough, I saw him and I ran and I got the camera and I couldn't find him. And so I put my dogs back outside as bait, <laughs> figuring they might have been what attracted him. Um, but he didn't come back. So I was just sitting here looking out the window. I was Googling how to tell the difference between a coyote and a fox. Because whatever I keep seeing is very reddish in color. I don't think of reddish as being a coyote as much as a fox. Anyway, I'm doing that and I'm looking for movement. I'm looking for movement. And then I see some movement. <laughs> oh my god. But it wasn't a coyote. Bear. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. There we go. Got my bear. So I didn't do the best camera work, mostly because I was half panicking. I'm like, is he coming back? Actually, he went all the way up to my neighbor and was looking in the window. And so I got really scared and I drew the curtains and I wasn't sure if the dogs barked, if that would attract the bear's attention or if that would be a deterrent. In any event, I closed all the windows and I got scared and of course, We've got one more night here, so I don't know. I hope he doesn't come back. Oh my goodness. Adventures in the forest. I got a big mouth, you know. It's all fun and games until stuff actually shows up. Then I get really afraid. Wasn't that cool? All right, I just had to share it with you because I am so filled with adrenaline right now. I just wanted to tell you all about it.